Rollo's t-shirt is really cool. Yeah, I know, right? And not only that, but blue glasses, blue scarf, blue jacket, blue t-shirt, crashes blue jeans, and that blue present with the blue blocks. Now it's blue hair. But anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is because it happened again. I was at the shop and I saw a flavour that I've never tried before. So this time it's cookies and cream. And I have high hopes for this one because I'm not a fan of Hershey's, but I do like Hershey's cookies and cream. So I'll tell you why. Because I love Oreos and I love white chocolate. And it's basically that. And I actually prefer white chocolate over normal chocolate. I'm not a massive chocolate lover. Like Cadbury's, yeah. And Mars is alright. I don't I don't like Nestle unless it's white chocolate or Butterfinger. But anyway, let's start this. Oh, they smell lovely. Right. That is delicious. That's actually really nice. You know what? That is so good. I I actually prefer them over the white chocolate ones. I don't get me wrong, I love the white chocolate ones. I gave the white chocolate ones a 9 out of 10 because they had a weird aftertaste. But you know what? I'm, I'm not joking you. I'm honestly going to give them a 10 out of 10 because they are absolutely delicious. Because it's pretzels as well. And I love pretzels. And like I just said, I love white chocolate. I love Oreos. I love the cream in the Oreos. You know? I like custard creams as well. And that's got the vanilla cream in it and believe it or not when I was younger I used to hate pretzels but like Phil Lester said your taste buds change every not change regenerate every 10 days so yeah I went from hating them to now giving a flavor of them of some else that I already like a 10 out of 10 that is nice that is I rate that that I love that I will definitely be having those again Anyway, I did have a shower. I'm wearing a different t-shirt. I am wearing the same trousers as I did in all the other videos. I'm bloody boiling. You pillocking pillock. Any females. Lovely bit of squirrel. Shit on it. Are you mad? Tomato blood. Nippy nippy. Internet food. Hello bambinos. Pass me the freaking fox. Buggering lunatics. Just... Ugh. Every time I wear it, it makes me feel like very wolfy. Shalom, Jackie. Now let's get into the main point of the video. Hi, I'm R2 and today I have got 8 3DS games that need to be tested. And they are Super Mario 3D Land, Mario Party Star Rush, Mario Party Island Tour, Frozen, Olaf's Quest, Rabbit 3D, Paper Mario uh, Sticker Star, sorry I had to get that up close so I could read it properly. Mario Kart 7! And last but not least, Mario and Luigi Dream Tour Bros. Let's start this. We'll start with the Frozen one first because that's the odd one out. Before we do that however, I'm gonna make myself a uh, me. The fucking bastards don't let you have the option to make your hair blue! I shall be writing a letter about this, you know. That looks pretty close to how I actually look in real life. I think so. Because obviously when I look in the mirror, it's that way. But I do know it. Actually, that's what people see. I decided to just make it my natural hair colour. Um, excuse me. What the hell? How dare you? My nose is bigger than that. Obviously, apart from not having to have the option to have blue hair, I think that's pretty close to home. I am quite tall and lanky and scrawny and skinny as well. So yeah, that's about right. I thought since I'm wearing a blue t-shirt, I thought, yeah. And obviously, to make up for the fact that I don't have that blue hair on me, it didn't have enough characters for me to put I'm Artyor, so I just put my actual name. But yeah, I think I'm about done now. Are you having a laugh? Three save slots, and all three of them have been used up. I hope they do have the option to delete a file, you know what I mean? See, look at this, I bought the... I had the 3DS, 3DS XL, the large one, and it could barely fit the screen, so I have to keep doing that. Anyway, what's this? Right, 
I don't want to keep pressing the pause button too much in case the video goes out of sync, you know what I'm saying? But let's just actually we'll Yeah. Yeah, you know, I really you, you know some little girls have been having fun with this game. I'm not a fan of Frozen and I'm especially not a fan of this character. He's just I agree with everyone else. He just comes across as annoying. <coughs> anyway, what's this? Is this like a mission game where you have to keep doing shit and then you get less stars depending on how shit you are? You know what I mean? Alright. <coughs> okay, yep, yep, yep. I skipped it because I really don't want to... Hey, look at me in the reflection. Hello. Right. Right. Oh, you have to Oh, you have to get 45 snowflakes. Ah, I see. It's freezing. Right. Hey. This kind of reminds me of Garfield. I, d I forgot. I have it. I have it here. Where you have to where Garfield's daydreaming and as you walk around you collect pizzas and Shit. I'll have a look when I've stopped filming this. <laughs> What's this? Ah. Okay. Oh, there's two at the back. Alright. See, that's like Crash Bandicoot when they hide... The box is behind you. Oh, snow pit. I wonder if Sinead likes Frozen. I might ask her as soon as I've stopped this recording. You know, because she did say that she loves Disney films. <sighs> I've had to get my... Not mine. But my sister's dollhouse out of the way to film it from here. New accessory gloves. So what's this? Oh, it just goes straight to the next level without having to press it. <gasps> uh, Yo, know, I know my little sister Bella, who's only six, will absolutely love this game. She loves Frozen. But every time I try to watch it... See, I tried to get into Frozen... But every time I watch it, it freezes on there. Right. Knowing me, I'll probably miss a fucking snow pit later on. What are these? I wonder what these flowers are as well. Like, I get why they have the snowflakes. Because it's a snowy place. Hence the name Frozen. But, <laughs> what's with the flowers? Right. What's this present? Oh, yeah, new accessory. Yeah, you don't have to keep saying that every single fucking time you... Yeah. Water! Twat! Okay. You know what? Oh, double jump. I didn't know. You know what? For a game that's aimed at little girls, you know, little girly girls, this is actually not that bad, to be fair. Um... See, this is kind of reminding me of Mind Over Mutant on Nintendo DS. Because you have the mojo you have to collect, and it's a side-scroller. This is kind of the same thing. You know? Wow, I'm bombing through these levels. This means I might get through this game quite shortly. I wish I bought my chair. Wait, is that bad? And it is. Okay, phew. Man good thing I managed to grab them before they vanished into the thin air or melted in the ice. Yeah, I'm having fun here. Of all the games that I, I thought I was going to have fun, 
wait, wait, wait. Of all the games to try out, and I think it will be fun, I never would think it would be a Frozen game. No. And I know, even though I this does have the 3D, I'm not going to use it, because it looks horrible. And I know what you think, you think, Whoa, Marty, why is this bad? 2D out there. Well, it's like I said, you can't bend in 2DS. See, look at this angle, this is perfect. It's been a while since I've done that voice, to be fair. Right. <laughs> Fucking hell, level 5. Completed and done and dusted. I don't know if that's the correct term for that word. Hands down, this is the best day of my life. Knew it. Right. Right. Okay. Snow pit, snowflakes, snow float, snow everywhere! Right. Flower! Okay. Right. <laughs> so I've had a bit of a runny nose through the day. For the past few days, I've had a bit of a runny nose. And I've, and to be honest, I think I've lost some weight because every time it has been running, I've had to catch it. So, yeah. With all that running, yeah. But no, seriously. I've had a bit of a runny nose and a bit of a sore throat and a bit of a cough for the past few days. I hope I'm fine. And I know coughs have been around since the dawn of time, but you know, considering what's happening right now, and I said in my um, COVID video that if I caught it, they will not save me because I'm one of the vulnerable victims because of my condition. I'll just get shoved in the corner with all the other old people. It's funny because I said in Sinead, her again, Sinead's birthday video, I said she's no longer going to be shoved in the corner because she's of age. Yeah. Oh, there was all, what's this? Oh, it's a float. Right. See, I like that they're bringing out these new features as well. That's how you know, that's how you know that the developers wanted to make sure that you don't get bored within the first 10 minutes of playing. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. All right. This is not bad, you know. I'm actually enjoying this. It's quite it's it looks quite short, but I'm such a perfectionist that I'll get this done within the first few hours of playing. So, no, I'm not looking at the camera cuz I do try and concentrate on looking at the game as well. A and the flap oh and in my COVID video, there was something else I wanted to forgot to mention. When my mum got ill, Bella, she was only uh, five. I was trying to remember when we went on lockdown. Bella's lucky, because her birthday was the day before we went on lockdown. Anyway, anyway. Bella did a picture with mum's face on it, and it said, get well soon. Yeah. Even, uh, yeah. Oh. See, I don't know how long these levels are going to get as you get on. But I think I might... Come on. I think I might make this the last level I'm doing till I move on to the next game. Right. Yay! Didn't miss one. <sighs> Managed to do eight levels within the span of fucking less than ten minutes. So, it, to be honest, to be fair, I think this game in total could take you an hour. Probably less if you're doing a speed run, you know? And if you know the whole route, like the back of your hand. Right, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna put on some ex new of the ses ex Put on some of the new accessories. There we go. Alright. Next game. Luigi. Mario and Luigi Dream Team Bros. Let's start this. So 
So he's such a rush to turn the camera back on again. I didn't know there was going to be... I wasn't paying attention properly. Right. No, no, data. Or is the Australians pronounce it? Data! Right, I am right handed. <laughs> Sorry, I just love doing that. So funny. It is funny though how they pronounce. Like, okay, Brit British people say data. Americans, data. Australians, data! Right. Right. One day. No, this is every day because Peach is always getting fucking kidnapped. She doesn't learn. She doesn't hire security at Peach's castle in the Mushroom Kingdom. If text pop up on the uh, bottom screen, I'll read it. I can't keep doing this all the time. An invitation to... Pilio's island was delivered in style. To fair Princess Peach and her subjects, an island of the luxurious awaits. Pilio Island, our staff wishes to wait <gasps> on you. Come take a holiday with us from the Pilio Island's proprietors. The princess took some of her staff, decided to take her to the trip to the island. Toad clones. But little did they know what awaited them there. Yeah, bad guys. Oh yes, of course. We can't forget these guys. Mario and Luigi, the fat Pete spaghetti eating plumbing brothers. We're only two games in and already my legs are starting to ache. You never see Mario and Luigi wearing flippers. Alright. Oh my days. See, this is what I was just talking about in my last video. They don't put voiceover. Pillar Islands. Hmm. Can't say I've heard of it. Princess. No, I'm not reading it. Like I said, if they can't put in the effort of make, putting voiceover in their game that they're producing, why should they make other people do it? You know what I'm saying? Nintendo are very lazy. They never have voiceover in any of their games. Ever. I'm, I, I'm not reading that. If the fucking Nintendo can't be asked to read out their lines in their game, then why should we? If you can't make the effort in reading it, and why should you make other people do it? So, they won't read out the lines when they're speaking, yet they'll say something when they don't need to. Unbelievable. Fucking lazy sods, that's what they are. <laughs> this is just me roasting. No, not roasting. I'm not an edgy... Although I am a teenager, but I'm not edgy anymore. I'm 19, I'm going to be an adult in February. Look, it's just me talky shit to Nintendo, but it's true though, they need to put voiceover in their games, it's just lazy, is there any, no, relax with the dogs, sorry I can't keep the 3DS still, but in a way, isn't that, you see the human work that's going into this video, I don't have a screen recorder, Thingamajigga wigga ligga. And I don't want comments on this video saying, STOP TALKING! Because if you want to watch the cutscenes, I just look it up then. This is my video. Is it, are we actually going to start the game? Oh. Master Mario. Oh yeah, this is sort of similar to... Uh, uh, partners in time. Aha! Oh, this is kind of like South Park, a stick of truth. 
where you pick an attack and then you have to pick who you do it on. And I know Fractured Butthole is kind of like that too, but... Where's Fractured Butthole? You get to move around! Bollocks! 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 <coughs> exactly what I was talking about. Hope I don't run out of health before he does. Hey, that was quick. But then again, that was the first fight. Why am I chatting? Summit smells nice. My mum's cooking summit. I don't know what it is though. Most likely it's not going to be for me, but you never know. Sorry if my arm keeps hitting the microphone. Oh, that's another thing. I'm not wearing my microphone that you put on my... I mean the microphone on the tablet, that is. My microphone that I put on my t-shirt... I'm not wearing that because it keeps making rubbing noises and plus I don't know how long I'm going to keep moving around. Oh dear, Luigi's having a seizure. Did Toad really just say epic? They look like Spongebob's. Right. So much text, which is not even voiceovered anyway, so what's the point? Uh, yes, I already knew that. What's this? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there. Right. Oh, an S box. Does the S stand for shit? Oh, it's save. Where's the... There we go. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Save my current data. Come on, focus. There we go. Oh, he's in the wrong one. Piss off. I don't know why I'm saving it. I'm going to turn it off within, like, literally within a minute. Alright, what's this options? Oh, that's it. You already asked... Oh, okay. Right, let's see where else we can go. Oh, we just opened up a new path just like that. And that rhymed. Well, I know what Mario desires. Even though he's 35 and Princess Peach is 16. Again, problematic. I'm not going to play that clip again. The FBI one. I already did that in my f other video I did two weeks ago. Don't want to kill the joke again. So many other YouTubers use that joke. When it comes to making jokes, 
If there's a joke that's already been used by other YouTubers, I will only do it once for a laugh. And if it's relevant to what I'm talking about. Like when I brought up Mario because I was playing a Mario game. And Princess Peach was showed up. You know what I'm saying? Right, this is pissing me off. I'm going to move on to the next game now. Take your heart. Next game. Mario Kart 7. Right, I'm only going to have one race. Because... Yes! See? I know when to do the uh, boosts. It's when after it's gone to the two. But how do I... There we go. Oh! It's like Mario Kart DS. Well, of course, it's the same type of game, but... God, this is bringing me back memories, this is. From when I completed Mario Kart DS in all the way back in 2014. And I'm pretty sure many any others can relate. Oh my days! Just got struck by lightning, then hit with the blue shell. Fucking hell. <laughs> and I've got an itch on my eye, uh, eye lash as well. But, ah! Uh, okay. Oh, for God's sake. Hey! Why is it giving me a shell? I'm in first. Right. What on earth, man? I picked the fastest car in wheels as well. What's this? What does this do? Because obviously they didn't have this in the other one that I mentioned earlier, so I don't know what this does. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, and another detail. In this one, you actually lose your coins. You didn't, you didn't in the other one. Yo, yo! Alright. Oh, for God. Get off the grass. You can smoke it later, Yoshi. Well, actually, no, that's black Yoshi. I've got an itch on my eyebrow now, and I'm going to lose. Get off me, my case, man. I'm just trying to race here. I'm going to lose to that fucking mushroom. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, fireballs. I can't remember if the other one had them or not. Oh, no. Get off. All right. I lose the game, for fuck's sake. Right. Right, let's just have a look at the re view replay to see if there's any different camera angles, like But Ugly Martian, Zoom or Doom, for example. Okay, now let's move on to the next game. Next game, Mario Party Island Tour. Okay, this is a new day because it was getting dark and my little siblings had to go to bed because, you know, they had school in the morning. But yeah, about, nah, we'll just, let's just play straight away. I already know the highest number goes first, and that just so happens to be me. Yay! See, I'm already quite familiar with the rules, because I remember, not last year, the year before, 2019, when I completed Mario Party on the DS. Right. Three. And I landed on a coin spot. 
Well, at least I think that's a coin spot. No, it wasn't a coin spot. Because if it was, I would have been given coins. Because it was a coin spot. But it's not a coin spot. So I didn't get coins. Take a shot every time I say coins. Right. Hey, she got one. But I've mixed the uh, difficulty up a bit. I've given Peach easy difficulty, Daisy medium difficulty, and Waluigi um, hard difficulty. Or as my little brother calls it, well, used to call it, Waluigi when he was uh, new to him. I just hope the camera doesn't cut out on me like it always does. Well, I say always, every once in a while. Eh? Right. <laughs> the dice is a lot slower in this one, which is not a good sign. Right, turn two. Oh, oh yeah. Mini game. Forgot about this. <clears throat> right. So it's basically uses using the stylus. Just call it a pen. Hey, I don't know what this is. Oh, what a twat! Bollocks, pressed the wrong one. Yeah, you got it. Okay, now I know what this is. I've probably fucked this one now. Final round already. <clears throat> You bastard, Waluigi. But then I did, I did put you on uh, hard difficulty, so in a way it was kind of... Yeah. I swear those sounds were used in... Um, what is it? No, I've heard those sounds before. See, that's the thing, I've played so many Mario games, I can't remember where which Mario game I heard those noises from. Oh, I remember. The Mario basketball game for DS. That's the thing. <coughs> I nearly said Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games earlier, but I remembered no. Oh, two dices. Five. <laughs> oh. You bitch. Go on, days. Okay. Oh no. See, I'm over here, hovering over the camera, waiting for the next mini game to turn up. And you know that thing you used to move the camera up or down? That's pointing directly at my... between my legs. 
Nah, I didn't wanna fuck are you. Great balls of fire. Just like crate balls of fire from Crash Bandicoot. Alright, so you don't need to use the pen. Which is, oh, hello! Alright. <laughs> Bastard! Oh! Right. So is last one standing. Oh no, it's getting faster. Ah! Oh no! I knew Waluigi would win. God, that's hard. Yeah, that sound is used in... Uh, the Mario basketball game for the DS. I remembered. I haven't played that one in ages, man. 2019 was the last time I played that game. Because that was when I was into the Mario games. That's why I completed Mario Party. So I think the difference between the brown, no, bronze, silver and gold dice is the, the higher it is, the more numbers there are. Alright. So what was the difference between the blue button and that button then? What was the point in that? Seven again. So is this button gonna squish him also? Oh. Oh, so you have to press all three buttons as a way to progress further in the game. All right, I see. Oh. Do well. Knew it. <coughs> oh, so you have to. Okay, so I'm gonna make this the last mini game, then I'm gonna move on to the next game. I've got an itch! <coughs> Alright. Ah, you fell off. Slippity slide. Ah, I thought if I fell off. Oh, I won. Bye. Right. Of course, that sound's been used loads of times. Right, I'm going to move on to the next game now. From one Mario Party game to another Mario Party game, Mario Party Star Rush. Alright, I've just picked the first map because I don't have that much time on my plate. Oh, the Goombas. Alright. Right. Oh, all at the same time. Okay. Oh, I see. So 
so you get to choose where to go now. Okay. I have to say, this is a little different to the usual Mario Party, which is a good thing. So, not, so it makes sure that not every game is the same. Hey, fuck are you? Duel! Right. Hey, I got a big number. And I got the biggest one. No. I don't want to go there. Okay, I'm going to try and get those coins. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to go. See, this isn't like a linear pad. This is more open. This is more of an open map. Right. Hey, I got two coins. Oh, I see. Can I get him from the... Oh, shit. Well, it's not much of a boss if he's asleep, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, I can only carry a few at a time. Piss off! Oh, you bastard. Lost one. Don't make me lose my apples. I kind of need them. You know, apple is more effective than getting you up. In An apple is more effective at getting you up in the morning than a than coffee, believe it or not. And that's fact. Right. I think after this mini game, I'm going to move on to the next game. Because I don't have that much time on my plate. Plus I've got work experience later today. Oh dear. He's pissed. Who's been stealing my apples? Right. Hey, pick him up then. You oh, see what you make you do. No! At least I'm winning. Ah! Leave me alone. Go away. No one cares. Oh, no. Oh, you can only carry three at a time. Right. Oh dear. Right. <sighs> yeah. Why go for it? Why go for apples where you can have a butterfly instead? Yep. Yep. Right, I'm going to move on to the next game now. Paper Mario Sticker Star. These save files are even older than Freddy. <coughs> oh, man. Now, let's see. Which one do I want to go for? Do I want to go for the mushroom, the flower, or the star? Let's go for the mushroom because I want to be high. Yeah, but it's a shame that those save files had to be deleted. But, you know, when you're playing a game, there's no reason... To t hello. There's no reason to take over all three slots. Just pick one, for God's sake. Anyway. Alright, so basically what's happened is Bowser turned up again. And then he got the crown and then he turned all powerful. Mario touched him and then they all teleported. Mario was folded. And so I had to press jump to unfold him. You know what? Okay. 
considering how many times Bowser has tried to show up and fuck everything up, why do the village people still get scared when they see him? If I was one of them, I'd just be like, Ugh, Bowser's here. Again. What now? Right. Right. Hurry up and get over here! Right. What the hell? Oh! Oh! Is that the same crown from before? Right. Okay. Once again, no voiceover. What limitations do Nintendo face to stop them from having voiceover, voice acting in their game? Right. Hello, Kurtzdy. And I said it right as well. Yay! Right. This video was such on sh such short notice as well, because the original plan was to test some of my Wii games, but I don't have batteries for the Wii U, so that will be two weeks time. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. This whole game is just me peeling shit. I could do that all the time with an orange or a banana. Or satsumas. Oh, I have mallet. I got a mallet for peeling. If only it was like that in real life. Peel summit, get a hammer. Whack someone on the face with it. Alright. In my uh, last video... Victoria watched it and she said that when I did my impression of Marvin the Martian, it made her it made her laugh so hard. I wasn't there, but apparently she was pissing herself when she saw that. Right. Which I'm glad. If I can make someone's laugh, I can brighten someone's day, you know. That's why I like to do this. One of my fondest memories of school, primary school, believe it or not, is a classroom of thirty 10 to 11 year olds and the teacher laughing because of something that I said. See, you just saw my face, but if that was in 2017, this video would be lost. Oh no, not even that, 2018 or early... In 2019 too. Sorry, I'm forgetting like a twat. And early 2020 too. Because I didn't show... I didn't start showing my face until... Apart from the face reveal... I didn't start showing my face until uh, April 2020. I thought I was Toadette then. Oh. Oh. Magic. Right. <laughs> right, I'm going to move on to the next game now. Next game. Rabbits 3D! Right, so here we are. So basically what happened, the rabbits were pissing about in some art museum or whatever. They found a washing machine. They, they were fighting over the rubber duck. And then they ended up in here, basically, because they got teleported. So this is similar to the Frozen game that I played earlier. Well, I say earlier. It was yesterday from my point of view, but you know, this is a video. You could edit it any time. Wow, I missed some coins. Right. Right. Ah! Right. 
God, this is a long level. Right. Fucking things popped up on my screen. I don't care about the coins. Oh. Right. I'm just speed through I'm just speed running through this because I really need to get this over with. Days of goddamn cutscenes. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck you. Ah, I see. I've never been faced with a more difficult video of making because of these bloody 3DS games. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's this? Right, d did I just beat level one? Right, yes I did. Right, quit. Right, now I'm going to move on to the final game to test. Mario, would you like to do the honours? Thank you. Also, the box said it's also compatible with Nintendo 2DS. You know, if only we said it together, then I would have said it was said it in sync. Well, no, we didn't say it in sync. We said it in room. But anyway, I said that in my thumbnails video. But anyway. Whoa, whoa, M Mario, Mario, are, are you okay? D do you need to go to the toilet or something? Right, I'm going to beat this level and then end this video because I'm running out of time. No, I don't care about the boxes. So I, I, I'm sorry, but I really don't have time. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to do that. Right. Ah! Come on! Controls! Ah! Oh my days! I can't land on a platform! Right. 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 Uh, what's this shit? Okay. Ah! Okay. Thought I was gonna die there. Thought I was gonna fall in the water. Right. I know I didn't do it properly, but this is just a test. Once I remove this save file and start again, I will try it properly. It's just I'm running out of time. You know, both on camera space and I have work experience in less than... Well, I have to leave the house as well to get there as well. So, yeah. Anyway. So, that was me testing Super Mario 3D World, Mario Party Star Rush, Mario Party Island Tour, Frozen Olaf's Quest, Rabbits 3D, Paper Mario Sticker King, Mario Kart 7! And Mario and Luigi Dream Summer. I forgot what it was called because it was yesterday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, then share, leave a comment, subscribe, and the bell icon. And if anyone out there thinks that my videos are crap, 
let me know why in the comments and hopefully I'll improve. And if you're new to the channel or you've just found it, feel free to subscribe if you want. At least I know that the games work now. I'm Artiel, bye, I'll see you very soon. I'm out.